Hello, Capricorn. It looks like it's time where the universe is getting ready to give you a most deserved gift. Let's dig in to see where this goes. Hello, everyone. Welcome in. This is a Capricorn Tarot reading. It's a general reading for December 19th through the 25th. Merry Christmas to those who celebrate the holiday. Let's dig in to see what sort of thing we have for you guys for next week. The Velvet Queen, number 25, reduces to a seven. She hasn't come out in a while. Hmm, something about a gift. Let's see where we go. It says a rare prize is to be bestowed upon you. The universe is confirming that the most luscious dreams of your heart are being nurtured into manifestation. To this end, you shall be given a saving grace, an intervention if need be, to be open to receive, surrender doubt in favor of unconditional trust. Through your trust and optimism, you make it easier for the universe to give you a most deserved gift. Mm, okay. So this, this, this is about surrendering. This is about surrendering. This is a connection that feels like you, you could be trying to force love to come into your life instead of just allowing it to flow to you. Let's see what sort of energy is going to complement the Velvet Queen today. This feels new, but let's see where we go. Okay. Weird cut, but okay. <laughs> focus on the light. Literally focus on the positive. Wow. <laughs> wow okay okay let's see which stack for capricorn this one okay let's see what's going on with you guys next week okay it's kind of like this is something that's gonna happen when you're not paying attention Because there, I'm getting that there are there are other things there are other things in your life. Okay, there there are other things. You just may need to delve into those things. Hangman underneath. Let's see where we go. Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Ace of Pentacles. Six of Cups. Strength card of Leo. Judgment. Two of Pentacles, Tower, Scorpio energy, Judgment and Tower. That's a significant, holy shit, <laughs> what's happening in my life kind of energy. <laughs> so Capricorn, I'm going to read this side as you. This is your person. This as the situation. So there we go. I feel like you are the one achieving the Ten of Pentacles because there's the Ace to the Ten. That's a full cycle right there. Hmm. You might be a little bit intimidating. Let's see. Not that that's your fault. That's the other person's fault, right? Hmm. Okay, so it looks like there is someone who lost you. Okay, they, they, there's someone, I don't think that this is the same person. It feels like you were in some sort of connection with someone, not necessarily a relationship, but some sort of connection with someone. Very real, very passionate. Ten of cups, yeah, beautiful. There was some, something serendipitous about it. That's the word that came through. Something serendipitous about it. Um, that, that that person lost you. Okay, they keep an eye on you though to see where you're going to give your cup to next. Okay, um, 
you're you're currently kind of in hiatus when it comes to actively handing it over. Um, I feel like you're doing more work stuff though. Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Strength. I f oh, something happened in that connection to tank your confidence or take a significant gash. Okay, um, that's you're you're redeveloping that okay this is a progression ace to the two right with the strength in the middle there is yeah okay okay this person i feel like they're going through stuff separate from you but the thing between you i'm getting that this ten of pentacles is more legacy so if this is something that you're building or like you come from family wealth or something like that. There's something here that is, it could be taking all of your focus so you may not see this person. Okay, let's expand because there's some sort of knowledge here. So you either knew each other when you were kids growing up, okay? Your families could know each other. Um, I mean, you could have met in college. There's some sort of backstory, not necessarily an ex, it's like you, you could have just known each other, could have been friends growing up, could have been anything. Let's expand on this Ten of Pentacles, please. This situation, tell me more about this situation, please. Prince of Wands, Three of Wands, Five of Swords, Seven of Swords. Hope that flipped over in my hand. Ace of Wands. Judgment. Justice. Moon. Prince of Cups. Ooh, so you do not see it coming because you are being a busy, busy little worker bee. Whether you're crushing it with your own business, family business, whatever. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. Got it. Um, so we have... Pisces Libra here after the Ace of Wands with the Prince of Cups. The Prince is deliver the thing. They don't deliver messages, bring messages like pages do. They actually deliver the thing. This is delivering the love. Okay. So while you're in the middle of this cycle, okay, just kicking ass and taking names, right? Focusing on the light, trying to, it's like, it's like during the day you focus on this, but in the back of your mind, there is a desire for love companionship you know the whole shtick right and if you feel like you've been pushing it that lately in your mind take a breath and let it go focus back on this okay because i see that you're crushing this and there's elements to it that you're keeping to yourself that you're monetizing and that's going to multiply okay this could be separate from your regular job it could be a side hustle it could be anything Okay, um, this new beginning wants to come in. This is the gift that wants to come in that, that you don't see, okay? That is very, very balanced. That is very, very just, okay? That, that there is, that you don't see coming that has, that there is love there to be had, okay? That part's really beautiful. Okay, let's get into the Ace of Pentacles for Capricorn, please. Lovers, card of Gemini. Devil, card of Capricorn. Yeesh. Hermit, card of Virgo. Ten of Wands. Okay. I feel like you're still reflecting on this other thing that ended badly. The other person that I said underneath the deck who lost you. Okay. Um, I f yeah. Yeah, because sometimes when you get the lovers and the devil in the same spread kind of thing, it means that it could mean that that connection was unrequited love. Okay, this is something you have been reflecting on for some time and it looks like you are finishing up. Show me a little bit more about this unrequited love. Anything that we need to know before moving forward. The Fool, Five of Wands. Hierophant, Three of Swords, Three of Pentacles. Shit. All right. <laughs> Ace of Cups. Okay. So this connection, everything that you felt in this connection was totally valid. 
Um, it looks like it was a legit third party. This person, um, I'm, I'm going to flat out say it because even if they're watching, it sounds like this needs to be heard. There, there was some cowardice here about not taking this leap of faith into commitment with you. This was an active third party. Um, you were, the two of you, even though this person would not take the leap, they would still nurture connection with you and thereby building, still building the Ten of Cups with you. They broke your heart. They would love to start over. They would love to start over. <laughs> Any more feelings from this person that we need to know before moving forward? Any more feelings from this person in Capricorn's past? A fool again. High Priestess. They know they fucked up. They know. Yep. Six or times. They know they caused you a lot of pain with, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. They took too long. And they know damn well what you were. They knew you were an Empress Two of Cups. They knew. So in case you didn't have clarity before, there it is. Okay. Let's get back to you. So it looks like you have been, because you came up as the um, hangman underneath the deck too. This more hiatus sort of energy of um, stepping away from relationship indefinitely, working, focusing on work and other things, right? It looks like you're coming to the end though, with Ten of Wands, of unburdening yourself of this connection and everything that went with it. Okay, any emotional, mental, emotional baggage kind of thing. Because you're getting your strength back. Let's see what's coming in with the strength card, please. Emperor, card of Aries. Three of Pentacles. Hierophant. Prince of Pentacles, Princess of Swords. That one wants to come out too. Ten of Cups again. King of Cups on the bottom. So this person from the past could have actually been a boss. Could have been an ex-husband. Um, getting more like the boss kind of a co-worker kind of situation. We have Aries, Taurus, and Leo. Okay. And that Three of Pentacles wanting to start over yet again. This This person is keeping an eye on you. They are keeping an eye on you, for sure. Two of Pentacles. They're not moving, though, very fast, or at, if at all. Prince of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles, please. Let's expand on the Two of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. More Taurus energy. The Fool. Yes. Empress. Eight of Wands. Death card, Scorpio, Princess of Wands. So, of course, you're going to hear from the past when you're doing well. That seems to be a theme this week. But what you're doing, okay, you're, you're, you're ascending from Strength, King of Pentacles to Empress. Okay, the risks that you're taking for your money, career, and that sort of thing, they are propelling you into deep, tra into significant transformation. I feel like this person, this past person that lost you has some heavy Scorpio in their chart and they're going to try to lure you with some exciting words there with the princess of wands. Let's see what's going on with this person because this person does not feel like this person. Show me the six of cups, please. Show me the six of cups. Magician, Knight of Swords, start, wow, Tree of Life on the bottom, hey, a lot of alchemical sort of energy. So, actually this Magician feels like the universe here, letting this Knight come in. Something about the universe catalyzing a connection here to come forward, it is a faded connection, there's that Aquarius energy. Um, it is a faded connection. There's a soul bond tied to this. Why the five of coins? Chariot card of cancer underneath. They are, they are accustomed to 
being abandoned in a situation. Temperance card of Sagittarius. That there's something that happened where they had to restrict their heart space. Hmm. Okay. They could have had to move, move, move out of a shared home. Move out of shared home. Okay. Okay. Let's see if any more comes out about that. Let's go with judgment, please. Show me the judgment card. Queen of Coins, King of Swords, Moon, Four of Wands, show me the Moon please, show me the Moon, okay. Um, they could have been in a relationship that became um, increasingly more burdensome. There was a judgment call made here that made this um, person, that made this masculine see this feminine very, very clearly. Okay. So whoever they were with, show me the Queen of Coins for a second here. Oh, you didn't flip over. You don't get to come out. Come on. King of Coins again. Hmm. So have you run into this person before in passing in, in such a way that it feels like they there's something about a first impression here? There's something about a first impression here. I feel like this masculine, this King of Swords, it has a clearer view of this Queen of Coins. There's something about the connection with this Queen of Coins that they're finding more burdensome as time goes by. And the truth is they are trying to face the fact that they do need to take the time to heal. I don't think they need to heal from this feminine though. I think there's something that happened before. I feel like there's something that happened before and perhaps this person getting back into dating this is a feminine who wants to get married and have kids and he's freaking out about it because he's not ready okay it's kind of like he met this feminine during a phase where he just wanted to run buck wild in the dating world after being in a commitment, a long-term commitment, he just wanted to be free. And then he meets this one that's pretty fun, but she's like, okay, now I want to be serious. And he's like, wait, this is not what I signed up for. <laughs> the tower, Scorpio energy. Let's expand on the tower, please. That's good though. He, the, he's facing the truth that it's time to heal. Okay. The tower, the lovers. Hey, the emperor, damn. <laughs> death card of scorpio judgment eight of cups nine of cups ace of pentacles wow it's almost like he knows he has to get ready now it's almost like he knows he has to get ready now these are all huge huge energies all all majors all majors Every single one of them, okay? This feels like it's catalyzed by this healing process here. They have judgment twice. <laughs> judgment, tower, death. Wow, okay. Getting strong Aries energy there. We've got Scorpio, Gemini, Aries, Scorpio. Oh, judgment kind of leans on that a little bit. It's a lot of transformational energy. Okay. So whatever it is that's coming up in this healing process for him leads to a breakthrough of what it is that he truly wants. Okay. That's going to change who, who and what he pursues after he gets done with this. 
and I'm not worried about him being stuck in that phase very long because there is no hermit that came up here for them. So, okay. So then there's a bit more of an incentive there to move toward that, which is emotionally fulfilling. We're going to, from the eight of cups to the nine of cups, eight of cups, nine of cups to the ace of pentacles to something very real. So what is the real thing that they're hoping for? Cause you both, that means you both want something real. So what is the Ace of Pentacles he is looking for, please? What is the Ace of Pentacles he is looking for? Ooh, the catch. Hot cha-cha. Hmm. So, ooh. Hey. <laughs> Nine of coins, five of swords. That's the four of coins. Sun, wheel, king of cups, more Scorpio and Leo energy. So he, he, he really wants that high value feminine that he can earn or win. Okay. Um, that would kind of catalyze, catalyze happiness here. Okay. And emotional fulfillment. It's something he will hang on to. Okay. It's something he will hang on to. So... Okay, so this all hangs on this truth here. Show me about the judgment event here that helps this King of Swords choose healing. Show me this judgment event that convinces him to choose healing. Page of Cups, Page of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. There's something that gets, oh, so it, it could be, okay. It could be because of the holidays. Like if he brings this feminine around family and friends during the holidays kind of thing, marriage and kids can be brought up. Okay. And it looks like he's going to call into question if he would like that with this person, with the person that he's with. And it looks like this is who he's looking for which is what you came up as. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, this is coming in when you don't see it. Okay. Manifesting and when, once it does, once he gets through this, it's coming in hot and fast. Knight of Swords, star. Okay. In the meantime, Keep focusing on your empire because it looks like you're building one, Empress. And we're starting to lean into some big time. These are divine masculine, divine feminines. This is at the very, very least. Now that soulmate teetering into twin flame energy. All right. I'm going to head over to the extended. I'm going to see what's going on with this king of swords in his current energy, near future, and the final outcome of the connection between you in this lifetime. So if you're interested in any of that information, along with messages from Spirit about the connection at this point in time, messages between you, as well as timing, feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below, and I'll see you guys over there. Bye. Mm -hmm.